Okay, for 2B, we're going from polar into rectangular. So again, you know it's polar because there's a, an R and a theta that's there. You're converting it over into an X and a Y. So make sure you know how to go both directions, polar rectangular, rectangular to polar on this case. So for this one, we're going to use a different set of formulas since now we're going to be taken over into rectangular. To find the X value, you want to use this formula. X equals R cosine theta. So X is going to equal R, which is negative 4, and then we're going to do cosine 5 pi over 6. So you're going to need a unit circle on this one. You want to find the, the exact value for cosine 5 pi over 6. Again, for these kind of problems, don't use decimals. Make sure you use the exact value that comes from uh, the unit circle. So if you look at a unit circle, on this one, we have cosine 5 pi over 6, which is negative square root of 3 over 2. And right there, that's going to be the exact value that you want to use. And then when you multiply it out, you're going to get negatives cancel. 2 square root of 3 would be uh, the x value. But now we need the y value. To find the y, you're going to do r uh, sine theta. Okay, so we have y equals r sine theta, y is equal to negative 4, we're going to do sine of 5 pi over 6. Once again, you want to use your uh, unit circle on that one. And when you look at the unit circle, the, the y value at 5 pi over 6 is going to be 1 half, that would be positive. Uh, and so when you multiply that out, you get negative 2. So your answer is going to be... You want to make sure you write it as a, as a quadrant, x and a y coordinate, 2 square root of 3 and negative 2.